This is a demo of GB Time Lapse Auto Ramp Expert Method trying to achieve the holy grail of a daylight to night sunset. I'm running GB Time Lapse on a Windows 7 laptop computer and I have a Canon 5D Mark II tethered via USB cable. The camera has a two battery battery pack and a 1635 zoom lens and I'm going to photograph the sunset over Lake Tahoe. I'm using neutral density filters. I'll be removing them as the time goes on and as the sun sets. I just took this exposure and I'm going to switch to bulb mode and put the uh, neutral density filters on. Here you can see the three neutral density filters stacked on a lens. Each filter is three stops for a total of nine f-stops. Try one second exposure. That's a little too bright. It looks like about a half a second will give me a luminance of 110, which is what I want to use. So it's a bulb exposure at uh, aperture of 2.8 ISO 100. Uh, it's set to neutral picture style. I'm capturing JPEGs. Auto ramp turned on with a target luminance of 110. I'm not going to let it change the, the aperture, but I will adjust the ISO up to 3200 at night. I'll switch the ISO when the bulb time gets to be 24 seconds and go to a maximum bulb time of 30 seconds. I have three neutral density filters stacked on the lens. And I'll gradually remove them as it gets darker. I'll start out at a 10 second. Uh, time-lapse interval, project settings, the program will start immediately when I press the button and end manually when I press the button. And the auto ramp parameters, I'm going to reduce the night luminance to 70% of the daytime luminance, give some more natural look to it, than trying to overexpose nighttime scenes. And I will ramp the time-lapse interval from 10 seconds during daytime to 33 seconds at night. That gives me uh, with a 30 second bulb exposure, it gives me three seconds to download and save the image. So I'll just go ahead and begin this time lapse. Right now, the sun is 10 degrees above the horizon. Uh, the sun will be setting in about an hour, and at that time, I will have to remove one of the filters. So I'm going to let it go until then. We'll check back later. Okay, it's been running um, until after sunset. The sun has just gone below the horizon. The bulb time is up to 7.7 .7 seconds. As soon as it gets to eight seconds, I'm gonna uncheck this box and remove the first filter. So next time, I'll uncheck it, and then I'll wait for the bulb exposure to end before I remove the filter. Okay, I removed the filter. I'm going to check the history. You can see the bulb time was increasing up to eight seconds, and I removed the filter. It dropped down to about one second, and the luminance stayed at a, a nice, stable value. See, it's running about 1.2 seconds now. So I'm going to wait again. About, about another 15 minutes, the bulb time will be up to eight seconds, and I'll remove the second filter. Okay, now the sun's uh, about two and a half degrees below the horizon. The bulb time is up to 7.36 seconds. As soon as it gets to eight seconds, I'm going to remove the second filter. So I'll get over here, so I'll be ready to uncheck it when the bulb time gets to eight seconds. Okay, I'll uncheck it. Now I'll wait for the next bulb session to stop. Look at the history again. You can see that the bulb time was increasing again up to eight seconds. I removed the second filter, dropping the bulb time down to a little over one second with no change in luminance. So another flicker-free uh, 
transition. Okay, now the sun is four and a half degrees below the horizon. Bulb time is up over seven seconds. As soon as it gets over eight seconds, I'm going to remove the third and last neutral density filter. So I'll move down here, get ready to uncheck this filter box. Okay, now the third and last filter has been removed. Um, getting dark very rapidly, so this scene will start to get pretty dark. Uh, I hope the stars come out, that, and I hope the clouds don't obscure them. Maybe we'll, we'll see the Milky Way later on. So I'm going to let this run. Here you can see the resulting video played back at 30 frames per second. Here the sun is still up, but it's starting to set. Get some nice cloud movement here. The sun's going down. A little pink action there. Some contrails, the stars, jets flying overhead. Turned out pretty well. I've loaded the image file into GBD Flickr Windows application. I don't need to deflicker these images, but GBD Flickr application provides a good tool for analyzing uh, image data. When GP Time Lab saves the images, it also saves an image log with a lot of extra information about each image. Here you can see the first frame in the sequence, its histogram, and the luminance curve over the entire image sequence up to 772 frames. And I can just scan through the images. and see the histogram of different places and where I am on the luminance curve. I, I can also show the settings graph. Here on the bottom it shows the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, and the luminance with the peak red, green, and blue values. You can see back at this point the shutter speed or the bulb duration in was increasing up to 8 seconds and I removed the filter and it dropped down to one second. I did that three times. After the three filters were removed, the, the bulb duration began to increase again. When it reached 24 seconds, it started stepping the ISO up from 100 up to 3200. You see that the luminance was very smooth during this process. With a split screen, I can show when these transitions occurred. You can see there was no jump in brightness when I removed that filter. Up here it shows the bulb duration, the aperture. This entire clip was done at f2.8. The ISO at this image, how many neutral density filters were on at this point. There were two filters, the total value was 6.21 f-stops, what the sun angle was. So it's a great tool for uh, analyzing an image sequence. Here you can see the video again, this time with the image info displayed at the top of the screen. Auto ramp was also smoothly ramping the luminance and the time lapse interval. This was a demo of the expert method using neutral density filters. Instead you can use the advanced method without ND filters. Auto ramp will ramp the aperture from a high F number to a low F number. The results are almost as good, but there may be a minor amount of aperture flicker at high F numbers. Please give GB time lapse auto ramp a try. I'd like to see your videos.